Hey guys, welcome back again to another MTG Arena video. Happy Halloween. So if I did this newfangled internet thing correctly, this video should be dropping on Wednesday, Halloween on 2018. And I decided to do something a little bit different to celebrate my favorite holiday, uh, which was to come up with a casual fun deck to kind of match the theme of Halloween. So nothing super competitive if that's what you're looking for. So this one might not be the video for if you're looking for this one. But this one's just more of a casual play deck. Like one of the things that I like to do in Paper Magic is to have those special kind of events and expect elves for Christmas, by the way. Um, to do those little kind of fun things just, just to have fun, just to play the game, to enjoy the game, to have fun. So I created a very undead Halloween themed uh, kind of deck, mostly out of the cards that I actually just have floating around, um, which is what I would do <laughs> on a, an, in real paper magic. It's just whatever cards are floating around sort of fits the theme, so it kind of works out. So this is my 2018 Halloween deck that I'll be playing today, and this is going to be consisting of three Diagraph Ghouls, because I only have three, three Cast Downs to kind of help down take down some of those other creatures that might be out there, Doom Dissenters that turn into, uh, turn into zombies later on in life. I only have one Grave Marshal, but he does bring more zombies into play. Reassembling skeletons, because nothing says Halloween better than some skeletons that just won't die. A few walking corpses. Uh, the Death Baron that kind of makes the zombies and skeletons a little bit bigger. Only, I only have two. If I were to make this a little bit more competitive, I'd probably go for four, but I only have two, and I wasn't going to dump any cards into it just because it is just a fun, casual kind of deck. I did end up getting one of the uh, it's with the Awakeners, and I read now I recognize he's not a zombie, so you have to forgive me for that when he's not undead. But what he does do, or what she does do, is to be able to pull cards out of your graveyard. So that kind of went around with the theme of the d shambling horde of undead that just wouldn't die. Can't have Halloween if you don't have murder. We've got some three Skymark Bloodletters, uh, simply because they're flying vampires. A demon of catastrophe to kind of go for the more spooky, scary ends. Two-headed zombies, oh no. And then, of course, a Vraska's Contempt to kind of help out with some of those other removals that we've got. Uh, we also got a few more things that kind of help pull things out of the graveyard. Uh, open the graves whenever creatures die. You're making more zombies. And Arise the Grave to pull your favorite card out to make it a zombie out of your graveyard. Uh, I also added two Vampire Sovereigns in here for a little bit of flying defense. And, of course, they're vampires, so it sort of fits the theme. So let's go have some fun with a good old casual fun deck. The Halloween deck. So this should be kind of fun. I anticipate that the deck's not super competitive, but my hope is that the algorithm that puts together says, huh, you have nothing really good in this deck, so we'll put you up against someone else that isn't running a more casual deck. People play Magic for fun, right? They do. Tell me that they do. It's not all competitive Smash Face. Red burn decks, right? I got a whole bunch of nice two drops. How cool would that be to be able to keep making more and more zombies? He can make two zombies. I will keep that and I will be a gentleman and say hello. Since I have no one drops. I could have gone with the stitch or two. I think that's another one drop I could have put in for this one, but Maybe that would have gone well with the theme of surveil, dump cards into the graveyards, and then pull them back out with things like Graveyard Marshal, some of the other spells. But here's the combat right here. Can you sacrifice the Doom Center to Demon of Catastrophe? There it is. Or you can do that one too. I think we're going to go for Graveyard Marshal here. Mm, no, because I want to sacrifice him to Demon of Catastrophe. This looks like it's going to be a white knight's deck. Uh, no, he can have that. Because I really want to do this. <laughs> Fear the Halloween deck. None of my removals come in, but they're hexproof from black, so this is actually like a perfect... <laughs> A perfect matchup against me going, huh, I can't actually do anything against them anyway. Well, there's my murder. I was looking for that. Um, I say I just dump the board. Go here. Let's drop reassembling skeleton and just hit him with a 6-6 six, six flyer. 
he decides to come in, I'll just go ahead and go doom to center one more time, get more zombies out on the board. I've got reassembling skeleton that'll just come back the next turn. Destroy target tapped creature. Boo! So we'll drop that, drop that. More zombies! Um, and then since he's tapped out, sure. <laughs> you weren't expecting the zombie horde. Love to murder that, but I can't. So, what can I exile out of my graveyard? Sure. Let's exile that. More zombies! Give me more zombies! Nope, I'm good. I get a Death Baron here, this gets really funny. Yes sir, you may have first strike, but I have oodles of zombies. Reassembling skeleton. So, let's go all of these. I want to pull you back. No, I want to pull him back. Go, zombie horde, go! I honestly think he kind of got mana screwed, too. With only the two mana. I think I have enough, even if he blocks here and here. Damage, here it goes. The zombie Halloween theme deck wins a game! <laughs> that was actually really fun. I feel bad because he didn't get enough mana, and it probably wasn't a true test of his deck. That's a, that's a shame, but it was kind of fun to play the deck the way that it's, it's meant to be. To have a little bit more fun with it. I'm going to play one or two more games, depending on how fast this one goes, with... The Halloween themed deck. It's Halloween, so we're going to do a special one, right? Go a little bit longer for you guys. If you like them longer or shorter, drop a comment and down below. Let me know, because um, I kind of get, I don't get a ton of feedback on the on the length of them. And if you want to see longer or shorter videos, just let me know. I can do quick short ones that are just like deck text. But I like actually showing how the deck looks in the wild uh, and how it plays. And there's only one way to do that: go out, play some games. Good curve on this one. Say hello. Be a gentleman. My dire graph ghoul. Love, love the artwork. I love that she's just kind of impaled and she's just kind of walking her way through. Ooh, could this be vampires? Life gaining vampires against my Halloween deck? That'd be great. Ho ho ho! Who called it? Life gaining vampires, it is. My reassembling skeleton. I'm willing to lose my diagraph ghoul. Are you willing to lose yours? Nope, guess not. So I'm going to hold on to Vraska's, obviously. Did I miss a land drop there? No, it was only the second turn. Okay. Johnny's pride me. No. I don't know if I want to waste a Vraska's Contempt on him at Johnny's Pride Mate, though. Hmm. So that's the cool thing about having resembling Skeleton. I'm always going to have an answer for your gigantic 3-3 three, three Johnny's Pride Mates. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Nope, I'm good. There's nothing really good in the graveyard just yet to go after. I'm gonna pocket this. Yeah, I recognize he's just gonna sit there and build up life for a little bit, but I'm kind of okay with that. Because now I'm gonna murder it. And then I'll return my skeleton while I'm at it. Just two Johnny's Pride Mates. There's nothing really good in here. Nothing really good in here worth. Raise the grave. Rise from the grave. And Johnny's Welcome. Interesting. Now I'm going to get land flooded. That's not cool. <laughs> Very nice. Draw a card. Oh, come on. This is a little frustrating. All land. So there's what, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. In 14 cards, I've got nine land. Enter the meek. This is a really efficient life game card draw deck. I like that. Um, I don't want to fall too far behind, so I will continue to block. He'll gain life, I'm aware. He'll draw cards, I'm aware. Come on, really? I don't even have anything good to be able to pull out of these graveyards that would even make it worth it. Like, if you're going to spend five mana to pull a creature and put him directly into play under your control, you want it to be big. You want it to be something big and scary. Yep, here we go. Just hit pass all, man. <laughs> I'm gonna hang with you one more turn until... Oh my god, seriously? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. In 16 cards, I've got 11 mana. Little frustrating, gotta say. Yep, now here we go. You know, if half of these cards would have been something I could have used, maybe I wouldn't be so far behind on this one, but no. He's just going to keep doing it, isn't he? He's waiting for the big push to kill everything on the board. Just He wants to wipe me out in a single attack. Okay, so I'm taking damage anyway. At least this right... Huh? No, he's just going to keep doing that. Okay. Oh my god. 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 cards, 12 mana straight. I'm not really gaining a lot of life. A diagraph. Fourteen straight cards has just been nothing but mana. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen cards. Seventeen cards, twelve mana. Hmm. So this one's way over. <laughs> 
I mean, way over. I mean, it was over before the war leader came out, but now it's really over. Just, just attack with all. I can block one thing. Just attack with all of it. The worst case scenario is I kill one of your vampires. You capped out. Just hit pass off. Pass turn. There you go. Just hit pass turn. All gonna go through. Haha, -ha, I will kill one of your wife and vampires. Okay, you don't even have to just hit past turn. You'd have no mana to to accomplish this. <laughs> this is how ridiculous a Johnny Prime mates can get whenever you get in these decks. It's so funny. Holy Malcro, I actually have a creature I can put down after 57 straight turns of just taking... Well, I will not concede. I will make him kill me. Is it, that's all they do is they get really, really big. So this little 1-1 one, one reassembling skeleton can absolutely block it. Why? <laughs> Did you really need to do it? And now all the vampires get big. There, this is... A... Yep. This is why I don't understand people saying, Oh, this card's no good. See that 1616? Means nothing to me. The rest of the class, that's a totally different story. Sure, why not? <laughs> and then the Ajani's triggers during the course of all this life gain. So what is he gonna be, like a 23-23 when he's done here? 20-20. Block by 1-1. One, one. <laughs> oh, boo. Good deck. I mean, it's not not his fault that I got, what, 10 straight turns? I'm going to go back and watch it. It had to have been 10 straight turns of just nothing but mana. That's not fun at all. I'll give it one more shot. One more shot with the Halloween deck for the Halloween special. And that was not a casual deck. At all, <laughs> for the record. The first guy, I don't know what he had. He only ever had two mana. Then he never really ever did anything. Opponent goes first. One mana. What? <sighs> not gonna blame RNG. Not gonna blame RNG. Not gonna blame RNG. Okay. If I'd have gotten a game where I just had no mana right after followed by them being flooded. I would send this video to Wizards and say, tell me that your <laughs> algorithm's correct. Please. I've had it happen in real life. I know it's just extraordinarily frustrating. Gain some life, and attack with a Doom to center. You murdered my man. I see how you are. And take another Doom to center. And the zombie horde will begin.
More zombies, I say. Give me more zombies. Well, whenever he puts something out, I've got more than enough answers for it. Life gaining. No, no, sir. You cannot. I forbid you. Here, have some zombies. Did my Halloween theme deck actually... My Halloween theme deck actually won two out of three games. Of course, losing to a legitimate, you know, black-white life game deck. But... So there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. The, the Happy Halloween, if you did enjoy it. I expect to do a Christmas one with an elf deck. I just don't know what elf deck I'll build. Probably just for more fun. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed it. If you had any ideas, you would uh, more go for more Halloween themed. Are there other cards that I really kind of missed out there? They're like, oh, you should toss this into a Halloween deck. Let me know. I can redo this one in, at another date and be able to add in some stuff. So hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Uh, if you did, uh, send a comment. And of course, I do have, if you are so inclined, the Patreon at patreon.com slash old guy gaming mtga so i hope you enjoyed this one and as always guys we will see you again in the arena